Shamai, and welcome to Bitcoin Coffee Break, the show in which we have a quick look at the Bitcoin price and some of the other markets which may be affecting it. The price is at $8,578. It's had a high of $8,590 and a low of $8,540. Uh, as predicted, you know, we haven't broken through, we haven't breached the $9,000 mark. Um, I would have thought that we would have, when we dropped, that we would have popped back up to the uh, the resistance of, say, 8,800, but we didn't. We, we popped down a little bit further. So um, uh, it, it seems to me that maybe some of the downward pressure is, is building uh, compared to when we were breaching the $8,000 mark. It could be argued that there's some sort of three rising valley action going on here, but I think technically there's, there's the whales are at play. Um, it'll be interesting to see what, what gold's been doing because recently it seems to be negatively correlated to gold. I'm here in, uh, in Munich for the, the lightning hack day. It's all going very well. We've got some nice hacks on the, the table behind us. Sorry if it's a little bit loud. Oh, my microphone, put my microphone up. Yeah, probably. I got someone with me who, uh, who watches the show and uh, was complaining about the sound being too quiet. So he's, he's keeping an eye on me and making sure my lapel mic's higher. So sorry if the sound's too quiet. I'll try and sort that out at some point when I stop being lazy. Um, yes, yeah, so there's a lot of cool projects going on. There's some excellent talks. I haven't watched the talks because uh, I've been on the hack desk the whole time. We got a couple of people set up with blitzers, which is nice. Um, so yeah, so far it's all going well. Let's have a look at the, the news feed, shall we? Uh, so Coinbase, EOS integrated on exchanges, earn program, there, yeah, XRP, bollocks, whatever. Uh, Bitcoin price weekly forecast, technical buyers signaling fresh increase, US China trade war, sell stocks hedge with Bitcoin. I think that's what some people are actually doing. You know, the, um, uh, the US stocks are really getting smashed and all the, all the stocks are pretty much getting smashed and gold and, and hedges like Bitcoin are going up. So that seems to be the, the mood in the market at the moment. Let's have a little look at Ethereum. So Ethereum's at uh, $267, had a high of 268 dollars and a low of 263 dollars. It's very much just a scrambled version of what Bitcoin's doing. If we just compare the two prices there, you've got Bitcoin's got these clear moves up and down where people are buying and selling Bitcoin, and then Ethereum's kind of got this sluggish, messy riding on the tailco of Bitcoin price action. So um, Plucky Litecoin, how's Plucky Litecoin? Look, Plucky Litecoin seems to be a little bit different to. Uh, to, to uh, a bit more independent than, than Ethereum. Um, but then maybe if I zoom out, yeah, it's, um, it's, it, it seems to be remaining within its channel, which it's built. Um, still on an upward trend. It could probably go down a little bit further, looking quite bullish. Um, uh, Monero, Monero is doing the same. It's in its channel, uh, still going up. But if we look at Bitcoin as well, we have got this sort of natural resistance formed on the, on the bottom of this arc as we arc upwards. So um, I imagine that yeah, probably today or tomorrow, then we should start trying to test that $9,000 uh, 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 mark again. Let's have a look at gold. Gold's gone potty. It's uh, broken through the 1300. Uh, this is off the, it seems to be off the, the, the uh, US trade war with, with Mexico. Um, and then some of the other stocks have been uh, affected poorly uh, in the past couple of days. Um, and there's some of the other, other types of stocks, uh, such as the, the transport stocks, seem to be getting smashed pretty hard. So. Uh, yeah, the, the stock market's not looking so good, so gold's, gold's going up. I kind of got this idea that maybe Donald Trump is a, a gold bug and his, his, his um, holdings were going down, so he's decided to try and rock the stock market to, to get his gold holdings back up. But we, it's clearly broken out of that, that, that bearish pattern, unless it's just a dead cat bounce. Um, but the shift up in gold seems to be quite significant. Uh, so I, I imagine now it will probably uh, um, flatten out for a little while and then, and then probably hit new highs as long as these crazy trade wars continue. S&P 500 going down. Um, uh, yeah, very bearish. Uh, you can see the, 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 the um, uh, what's it called? The, uh, not the decrease. No, you have the, they have the ascension and dissension. <laughs> there we are. The dissension here on the graph. Um, and it's quite steep, so it doesn't like it's going to be reversing anytime soon. Um, yeah, let's have a look at the Bitcoin Reddit, see how uh, Bitcoin land's doing. Uh, at the top here, we've got the uh, post for the, the Lightning Hack Day live stream, which voltoro has been doing. He's been doing an amazing job. He worked really hard on that. Uh, obviously, you know, he's a World Crypto Network veteran, so it's cool to have him involved in it. Um, so, yeah, really, really good. Uh, we've got a couple of, like, uh, the Goku-type Vegeta memes. Um, and then a couple of memes here on price. Uh, not really much going on in Bitcoin Reddit. Uh, the best story on there, the best thread, seems to be the, um, the Lightning Hack Day uh, thread at the top. 
there is some, a few threads on local bitcoins, so they're removing all in-person advertisements. Um, and then when you click on the thread, the, the usual, well, bye-bye, you know, RIP local Bitcoin type posts pop up. Um, I've spoken to a couple of local Bitcoin traders and um, they've said to me that the like 95% of all local Bitcoin uh, trades are like middle class people buying Bitcoin um, and they don't care about KYC. They don't care about doing bank transfers. So um, as far as local Bitcoins is concerned as a business, uh, we may not think that it's ethical, but as a business, it kind of makes sense to, to serve those customers. Um, and then that, that 5% who wants to do, you know, crash transfers or whatever, or in-person transfers, that they're, um, uh, that they're in the minority. So uh, I can see why Local Bitcoins has made this move. It, it is sad because obviously Local Bitcoins was the, the go-to place to kind of get off, you know, off the book Bitcoin and sell Bitcoin. Um, I still believe that it's probably possible to build a relationship with a vendor and then maybe do something off the books. But, you know, I'm obviously not condoning such behavior, but if you want to get... Um, uh, off the off the book Bitcoin to buy and sell, then that, that might be a strategy. Uh, so yep, so we've got the go to YouTube and watch the um, uh, the live stream, uh, and then some of the talks. Uh, I, I didn't get to watch any of them, so I'm gonna have to catch up on that when I get home. Um, let's have a look at some news. Uh, so Bitcoin taps one, uh, 9,100. Uh, Samsung Pay could support cryptocurrency. Wells accumulating. So Samsung seems to be pretty keen on on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Samsung, they're bringing out a phone, Samsung. Uh, which has a hardware wallet in it. They are, aren't they? That was a plan. That was something they announced recently. I'm pretty sure they may have to cite it, but I think Samsung are clearly interested in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, and they see that it has value, and their customers want uh, um, would 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 utilize um, some sort of integration with their platform. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm just going to whiz through these. Uh, Wef had a blockchain. Sheila Warren. This tech can solve the trust crisis. Um, so we got an article here on blockchain and distributed ledger technology and how um, uh, the World Economic Forum uh, so obviously you know trust is a, a crisis and trusting people with your data is a crisis um, uh, and people are starting to see value now in these kind of like immutable ledgers and how they may benefit uh, we did I did cover a story on Microsoft and how Microsoft had been um, uh, developing um, was it the digital uh, it's called like the, the, the digital um, uh, independence, something or other. Um, and it's a, a think tank which um, uh, has been investigating how people can uh, keep their personal details private when they're, they're logging on to say, to say if you've got like, you know, if you log into Airbnb through Facebook um, and then you get banned from Facebook, then you still need to be able to log into Airbnb. Um, you still need to be able to uh, prove that you're you. Um, so, yeah. So, so there's some interesting stuff going on in that area and, and hopefully um, Bitcoin will, will play a big part in that. But that, that's about it. Sorry if it was a bit of a crappy episode. It was quite short. Hopefully today I'm going to get some interviews if I can rope some people into some interviews. Um, and uh, I'll, post, I'll post those up on, uh, on Woke Up The Network later today. So there we are. Shemai, have a good day and um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see you later.